Hi, Jason Shank here at the CPI Training Center. We're going to do uh, a little bit different thing with the uh, sanitary drainage system here today. We're going to talk about what happens on a stack type setting with a water closet that has it flush. Um, so as you can see, we have a water closet set up here above, and we have this all tied in and exposed and clear pipe. So I'm going to flush this a couple times, and as we talked about in other videos, water doesn't always go downhill with the pitch of the pipe. Sometimes it hits an obstruction or a 90 degree churn like this, and it'll actually push upstream and then it'll flow down the street. So we'll do that here, and we'll do it on the, the stack, and then when it actually hits, where it will be going out of your uh, house or your business. So here's the first flush, so kind of watch for this area up in here. So you can see the water pushing all the way up. This would be the drain for the lab. So now as the water settles down, all that water pushes, comes down through. Now the second flush, we're going to kind of concentrate over here as this change of direction as this goes on. So you can see the water actually sheets to the wall. It doesn't actually go down until it, it hits this wall and just sheets going down the stack. So if this was a bathroom, say, on your second floor, this is what's going on in your walls all the time. And at the very bottom, we have a 90 degree turn into a uh, H fitting, we call it. And you'll see that it actually, even though it looks like it should just go right downstream, it actually does go back upstream a little bit before it goes down. And all the while this is going on, like we had talked about vetting systems uh, earlier, those vetting systems are allowing air pressure in and out so that when this shuts off, it reseals that trap so that you don't get the, uh, the odor from the sewer to come in. Stay tuned for CPI for more plumbing